what's up guys my name is Megan and welcome to my channel so for this video we are doing an August wrap-up um, I don't think I filmed one of these since February because of all of my computer issues which are now fixed so let's jump into it so this month I read five books which is pretty good for me right now I've been kind of slacking so five is pretty good <laughs> So the first book I finished this month is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which as most of you probably know is the fourth book in the Harry Potter series. And this time I decided instead of actually reading it, I was just going to listen to it on audiobook. Um, I like to do that with books I'm rereading or books that I don't think I'm ever going to get around to. So I highly, highly recommend uh, the audiobook for the entire Harry Potter series. The narrator is fantastic. He's definitely one of the better narrators for audiobooks. In my opinion, I believe some of them can be a little sleepy, like sluggish, but I highly recommend Harry Potter. I think it's great. I think he does a fantastic job. Um, so I rated The Goblet of Fire four stars. Um, just because partially it's not my favorite in the series. I don't think it's the most well written. Um, I think the pacing is kind of slow in parts. Uh, I will say that parts of this book that I do like, objectively speaking, as I think going from the third to the fourth one does show uh, J.K. Rowling's growth in writing. I feel that it just feels a little bit older and it fits the character's age more. Um, and then I also feel for Harry, this is really his turning point in the series um, compared to The Order of Phoenix, which we'll, we'll get to later. The second book I finished this month is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, and I gave this book three stars. Now take my ratings kind of lightly because, I don't know, for me it's not always how I feel about the book because I love this book. This is definitely one of my favorites. I highly, highly enjoyed reading it, but I think it's a five star book, not necessarily. Um, I've been talking about that a lot on my Instagram recently, that my star ratings don't necessarily reflect, reflect, sorry, how I feel about a book. Um, so reasons I gave this three stars, I think for a YA novel, I think the foreshadowing was a little like in your face, it was a little too obvious at times, and that kind of was like it's, I feel like the story becomes boring or sluggish when you use that. Um, on the other hand, I thought her character writing was phenomenal. I felt super, super connected to the characters, especially the main character. I, it made me cry. I was emotional. So in that aspect, I think she does a fabulous job. But I will say for Morgan Matson, a lot of her books are really, really, have like really, really strong characters. And I think she continues that in this book. The third book I read this month is Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, which is the fifth book in the Harry Potter series. Um, so again, I rated this one four stars. This is probably, book-wise, my least favorite in the series. I'm gonna put this down, give me a second. Like I was saying, it's probably my least favorite in the series, book-wise, just because I feel like it has super, super slow points in it. Like, a lot of the middle just felt sluggish and kind of unnecessary looking back and rereading it or I listened to this one as well it I understand why things are there but at the same time it just felt like a little much and at times it deviated from the plot a lot to me for the Goblet of Fire I said that Harry had his kind of character turning point it kind of the fourth book propelled Harry into the second half of the series whereas I think the fifth book propels everyone else and kind of gets them up to his level and his sense of urgency for the situation and I think the plot at, especially by the end of The Order of the X is a lot more full and ready to move on. The fourth book I read this month is Fury Worm by Claire Legrand. Claire Legrand? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm really bad with names. We've we established this already. Anyways, so this is the first book in a trilogy. I think King's Bane is out now as well. Um, I gave this one three stars. Um, 
definitely not my favorite start to a series. It definitely was strong enough to keep me going. But for me, the pacing for a book this size was so slow. Like, it was, it was <laughs> excruciating slow for the first half of the book. I mean, I would read two chapters at a time and put it down. It just, it, I couldn't get any motivation to read from it. Um, mainly just the plot was, I was like, it's not moving, it's stagnant, it's plateaued. Um, yeah. Another reason I gave this book three stars is one of the main characters, uh, Riel, I think that's how you pronounce the character's name, her chapters were super, super repetitive and I just felt like I was reading the same chapter over and over again. It had the same structure, the same build up, whereas the other character, Elena, I think that's how you pronounce her name. We're going to go with Elena. That's how I would pronounce it. Again, if I don't know, please correct me. Uh, um, her chapters, especially like after a quarter way through the book, were exciting. They were thrilling. I never knew what was going to happen. I never knew what the outcome was going to be. And that's the only reason I think I kept reading. So by the end of it, I definitely liked it a lot more. I definitely liked it enough to read the second one and to finish out the series. But it definitely is super slow. Only one of the characters is super strong. And I just wanted more from it, basically. I don't know. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. The fifth and the last book I read this month is Rules Were Meant to Break by Natalie Williamson. So this is also another contemporary novel. Um, it's very, very tiny. I read this in a day. Um, I picked this up after Fairyborn because I wanted something a little more lighthearted and not as uh, world building heavy and because it's a contemporary there is no world building it takes place in modern day um, society so that was really nice about this book um, I gave this book three stars and that's just because it just um, give a lot of contemporary three stars I feel like a lot of contemporaries in my opinion is the one I have read like, you know, complex writing, they like complex characters, um, so it just gets a little flat sometimes. It doesn't mean I don't like the book, because I, I really enjoyed reading this book. I don't think I would have read it so quickly if I didn't enjoy reading it, but it just means that it's just not, like, whole, the, as a whole wise, that good. Um, I think the major thing about this book that I felt that I needed to rate it three stars where the side characters, they didn't feel super, super necessary. They felt interchangeable, like you could almost change their personalities and their names and the outcome of the story would still be the same. Um, I do really like the message of it. Of it, You know, it was kind of about don't live your life the way you think you should live it. Live it the way you truly want to live it. And I think that was really beautiful about the book. So I do highly recommend it. So that is it for this month's wrap up guys i hope you enjoyed it remember please take my book ratings with a grain of salt just because i rated three stars does not mean i don't like the book it just means other aspects of the book don't make it a four or five star book um i highly enjoyed all of the books i read this month um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up um if you want to see more of my videos hit that subscribe button down below also, all of my social medias will be in the description as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!